This motor is seven years old and has gradually failed until now. It's making a lot of noise, but nothing is actually happening. So we decided to pull it apart and have a look. First of all, we take the adhesive pad off the bottom and very carefully, we just need to cut through any residual adhesive along the join line of the motor. Next, we remove the four screws that are holding the body of the motor together. We also need to peel back the label near the wire input block. It suggests that you don't remove it completely. And it's simply lifting off the cover of the motor. And here you can see where the lubrication after seven years has dried out. Remembering that we're here in Australia, but this motor hasn't had a lot of work and it's been sitting in an air conditioned room all the time. So I was quite surprised at actually how hard this lubrication had become. But we might as well go ahead and uh, continue to pull it apart. Here we're removing the spindles and you can see that the lubrication has just caked on. I've noticed that with the new motor in the manual, it has a section on service requirements where they say, please plan to open up each motor every five years to lubricate it, which means pulling it off your layout and pulling it apart like this. That certainly wasn't the case seven years ago. Having a look at the remainder of the lubrication there, it's just so hard and caked. But you know, it scratches off all right. And if I'd caught this early enough, I might have been able to resurrect the motor. But I think, uh, but as you can see, the lubrication is just literally glued everything together. Here, we're lifting up the arm that has the throw wire on it, the throw arm. And couldn't find any weight, so with a little bit of pressure we found out that the motor was just held in by this little patch of glue. But there's our circuit block. Looks intact, nothing burnt out or anything. Uh, we have our set switch, all our inputs, and these are the contacts for that throw arm, and you can see that as it moves from one side to the other, then you obviously get a different polarity coming through. So it's a ingenious little design. And here's the complete contents of the motor. Wasn't gonna pull the circuit block apart anymore. 